And here we go again. You guys are doing so well. So many of you are making the effort to make yourself better writers. You're the only ones that can. You've shown me now that you know what conciseness is. You started finding sources for your research paper. It's not time to start taking notes yet, taking notes yet. But what you want to do is do some some more background reading on your topic so you have a pretty thorough knowledge and we'll talk about making it very specific but you need a background knowledge before you can make it very specific okay so on your research paper uh, you know don't try to do any writing on that yet just do some reading so you know it better um, we're gonna write another we're gonna write a different kind of description this week okay this description will be and it'll be spelled out in the lesson but it'll be describing something abstract abstract means you can't touch it you can't taste it you can't feel it but you know what it is so love can't touch it taste it feel it but you know what it is uh, patriotism same thing you know what it is when you see it or when you feel it right um uh, hatred you know what it is um oh i don't know goodness you know what goodness is evil you can't touch it, taste it, feel it, but you know what it is. These are all abstracts, okay? Um, things that you can't touch or taste or feel, but you know what they are. We're going to be asking you to define an abstract concept. Beauty, okay? Beauty, what does that mean? Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, which means there's not a set definition of it. So your job is going to be to define an abstract concept, and the easiest way to define it is to give examples of it as to what it means for you and the lesson will explain this now i encourage you to follow the five-step process i only want a final but i encourage you to collect ideas dash stuff down um, make sure you're saying something and paragraph it make sure you have specifics and paragraph it put it into five paragraphs so that's step three step four is um um, making sure that your sentences are all grammatically correct, your punctuation is correct, um, you have all complete sentences, you know, so punctuation, spelling, uh, grammatical structure, um, no fragments, no run-ons, and you wrote very few of those when you got to your when you were in your final before. That's the way you should be writing, and then and then the refining of it, you know, variety in the length, making sure it says very clearly what you want to do. You guys understand this because your writings were really good. Most of you are really trying to make yourselves better writers. A couple of you are just kind of trying to float by. You know who you are. Um, don't do that, okay? Make the effort. It doesn't take that much longer. Make the effort to get into this. So here's your, your question this week. I've already given you the answer in this quiz. Here's your question. What does abstract mean to you? Okay, what does abstract mean? Email me or, no, text me. Text me what abstract means to you. But put your name in the text because I don't know all your phone numbers, so please give me your name and text me the answer to that. Um, I'll get the quiz thing straightened out. Um, Moodle wasn't behaving again, so I'll, I'll work on that for next week and, and for this past week too. So I'll get that all straightened out. And so probably by the time you get your lesson, I'll have that working correctly. But anyway, text me unless the quiz is working correctly, okay? So have a good week. Questions, you know where to get me.